think that's a bit close but welcome to vlogmas day 19. you guys know the drawl i i am putting my makeup on it's quarter past four in the morning right now i need to be out of here pretty soon and i am doing a four leg today i'm only gonna get back home at about 5 p.m tonight and i will catch up with you guys then hey guys so today has been a very long day so <sighs> right now my main goal is to climb into bed basically that's all i want to do today my feet are killing me i did four legs the entire day was super super busy so let's just get into the wonderful advent calendar today is day 19 and i honestly have no idea where that is where is 19 oh there it is it's a snowman it's a snowman okay put you down day 19 says rosa parks became known as the mother of the freedom movement in the united states after she refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white passenger in 1955 this i also knew never mind it's not gonna focus but this was a fact i knew today feels like it could be another lip balm or maybe shower gel because this is like the size so ah uh, it is a body lotion white musk body lotion that's different that's new oh. i'm not sure if i like the scent but it's a very it smells like very soft it doesn't smell like candy you know so maybe maybe i will like that scent eventually and this whole week i've had very interesting flights so i actually wanted to do a video for you guys where i discuss basically just airplane etiquette especially for the festive season somebody asked me some tips about this the other day i thought i would just make an actual list for you guys so i'm going to be telling you guys about five do's for festive season plane etiquette these are things that you want to make sure that you do for every flight that you have during this festive season just to ensure that you and your crew are happy and have a, you know, smooth trip. Basically, we all know festive season is a little bit hectic. It's a little bit more hectic than the rest of the year. It's a little bit more hectic than it needs to be. <laughs> I just wanted to discuss things for you guys to make sure that you do so that you're comfortable when you're traveling this holiday season. So let's get right into it. My first tip for you is to bring your own jacket or pillow. I have lots of passengers, even though it is boiling hot in South Africa right now because it's summer, if you are taking a two hour plane ride and the temperature inside the plane during cruise is a little bit colder, you end up feeling quite chilly. And the thing is, us flight attendants, don't really notice it that much because we are the active subjects we are running up and down the aisle we are doing the service we are attending to call bells and so for us it takes us a little bit longer to realize that it's cold you know so you guys need to usually bring it to our attention if you just want to avoid like freezing over try to at least bring yourself a little blanket if you have one like a little throw blanket and if not then just so that you are a little bit more comfortable during your flight bring yourself a pillow a neck pillow whatever in case you want to take a nap or a jacket or something like that because especially if you're flying around south africa most of the airlines here will not provide you with blankets actually i don't think any of them will provide you with blankets and pillows for a two-hour flight so keep that in mind next please try to take selfies when you are getting off of the plane <laughs> or as or like when you are on the flight and just to try not to delay boarding that much next tip is to bring entertainment for your children because especially since it's festive season they are most likely going to be more delays than what you would expect on a normal flight schedule and you're gonna have to entertain your kids if you guys are delayed for two hours in the airport and you're gonna have to entertain your kids throughout the flight anyway so try to bring them fun things to do i've been toying with the idea of creating travel kits for kids but i will see how that goes and i'll talk to you guys about it if it ever happens but yeah so i think that's a good idea just make sure you don't forget some type of entertainment for your kids and not necessarily a screen because you don't want your kids if you're delayed five hours and you still have to do a two hour flight like you don't want your kids focused on a screen for seven straight hours you know you want them to be coloring in or 
something, I don't know, a puzzle, whatever you can find. Bring their favorite toy with you if you can. Then go the extra mile with complimenting your flight attendants and crew. Festive season is hectic time for us. It's when we work the most hours and it's when we're the most tired, but it's when we put in the most effort to make sure you guys have the best life possible, even if there are delays and stuff like that. So it just goes a long way if you guys just give us a sincere thank you or whatever. Last tip, tip number five. Uh, is for you to pack an extra outfit and some snacks in your carry-on bag because of the festive season rush and everything your actual big luggage might get lost so try to keep an extra outfit or an extra something that you know you're gonna need if you get hungry have some snacks in there yeah, I'm sure it'll go a long way and help you out throughout your travels this festive season and that way you don't really have to stress if your bag doesn't arrive at the same time as you do because at least you have your necessary items with you. Okay guys, so that is it for my five festive season plain etiquette do's. I hope that you guys enjoyed this short and sweet video. If you have any other things that you try to make sure you don't forget to do when you fly over the holiday season, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. I'm gonna say goodbye now because I actually have to go ahead and record tomorrow's video right now. I'm going to be talking about the festive season airplane etiquette don'ts in tomorrow's video because I'm not gonna get a chance to actually like vlog tomorrow because our cleaning lady will be here the whole day and my sign on is at 3 p.m. I'm, I'm not gonna get a chance to like film in the house, you know, it's kind of awkward if someone is like trying to clean and you're there like, oh, I'm gonna vlog about my day. <laughs> you know, that's really, that's an incredibly awkward. So yeah, I'm also gonna tell you guys about my day today in tomorrow's vlog. So stay tuned for that. I will see you all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 20. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.